Alright guys, welcome back to another video of KingX.X coming to you guys with a brand new video and today in this video I have some crazy news that literally just went down like 20 minutes ago at the time I'm recording this video This is absolutely insane and nothing like this has happened since 2010 with Infinity Ward and now we have two members of Sledgehammer Games which are actually the leaders of Sledgehammer Games and they have decided to leave Sledgehammer Games and work as executives at Activision. Now the two people you guys probably are thinking of is Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield. Those are the two people who decided to leave Sledgehammer Games midway through their DLC season. So currently we actually have a new member who will actually be taking on the role of Sledgehammer Games as the new head. And I'm actually mind blown literally right now. I actually kind of see this as a good and a bad thing because Activision likes money and Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield like money. Well, guess what? Activision's just got worse. But I do want to let you guys know everything about this. So I'll leave an article down below for you guys to actually read out. And I'll actually read it in this thing right now. I'm not going to put it on screen just because there is a lot of reading to actually do. And I don't think you guys want to just sit there and look at a screen. So here's gameplay, really. But there's a thing saying, here's a statement, which actually, hold up. Both Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield have left Sledgehammer Games after being with the studio since it was developed in 2009. Activision says both Condry and Schofield will remain Activision taking on a new executive position within the company, which you already know, I guess, Activision's right, that their revenue is literally about to probably double literally this year which is absolutely crazy but here's a statement from sent to activision to kotaku news i don't know who that is following the incredible success of call of duty world war ii glenn schofield and michael Condry have decided to transition from their studios which is sledgehammer games to new executive duties inside of activision we thank glenn and michael for their tremendous body of work for call of duty and look forward to continuing to collaborate with them in their new roles these changes have created an opportunity to elevate one of the key leaders in the studio, Aaron Holland, I think. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but lead to Sledgehammer Games. Aaron is a founding member of Sledgehammer Games and a natural fit to lead the team. He has over 20 years of industry experience and has played an instrumental role throughout the studio's history. We congratulate Aaron and we are thrilled about the future of Sledgehammer Games, which we believe has even bigger days ahead. So hopefully Aaron is actually a good leader because I really want Sledgehammer Games to actually be more transparent. Hopefully, since he is new to actually pretty much the leader position, hopefully he'll be able to actually do that for us and actually help Sledgehammer Games in general. Now, right here we have Schofield's statement. Michael and I have been collaborating for over 12 years in that time. We've made great games that the fans loved, won awards on behalf of our projects, and have lived our dreams. We thank Activision for a wonderful opportunity to create and lead Sledgehammer Games. Now it's time to try other things. Activision has offered me an opportunity to focus my energy on something I'm very passionate about. Exploring new game ideas for the company. It's something I just couldn't pass up. Working with such a great studio of developers at Sledgehammer Games has been an honor and a highlight of my career. This team is in great hands with Aaron. He has my full full support and confidence. Thank you to everyone. So that was from Glenn Schofield. Hopefully, as I said, that Aaron will actually be a better leader for Sledgehammer Games. I actually will talk about another article in a second. But Michael Country's statement, We founded Sledgehammer Games to bring together a world-class development team with singular goal of delivering excellence for our fans. Over the course of nearly a decade, Glenn and I proudly grew the studio and watched new crops of leaders emerge within the team. On a personal level, I am deeply grateful to the men and women who have poured their passion into the pursuit of excellence with, the, with us. I'm proud of what we have accomplished together. It has been a great experience of my professional life. I am looking forward to starting a new chapter in my career with Activision. I couldn't be more excited for the future of Sledgehammer Games and look forward to seeing Aaron lead the studio to new heights. As I said, hopefully that Aaron is a good leader. Like I said, I think I repeated probably twice already. Just saying 
just because I really want Sledgehammer Games to actually succeed as a company. I don't want to see them really get all this hate. I mean, I, I've seen a lot of hate already. Literally, just look at Infinity Ward. Even though I like most of Infinity Ward's game, actually every single Infinity Ward game I've never hated. So hopefully this company will actually become great because we have a brand new leader, probably a brand new co-leader as well. We just don't know who that's going to be, but hopefully he'll actually be able to develop very good Call of Duties in the future. As I said, Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield are now the leaders, or not really the leaders, but executives at Activision. So who knows exactly what they're doing besides probably trying to create other great games for people to enjoy and pretty much make Activision a lot more money. Now, here's another thing, which is actually a tweet from Charlie Intel. The last time a studio heads of Call of Duty development studio left a studio during their own titles DLC season was in 2010 when Jason West and Vince Zampella left Infinity Ward. Now, I am pretty sure those two people are actually really big, which they were actually probably the leaders who ended up making Modern Warfare 2 and actually decided to leave to create something else. And that's probably why a lot of these things actually didn't go through, such as a patch, which could have fixed MW2 as well. But yeah, so pretty much, literally, we had some crazy news having Glenn Schofield and, as I said, Michael Condry leave Sledgehammer Games. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this because I find this absolutely crazy because, I don't know, it's just crazy to think that we actually had two big leaders of Sledgehammer Games literally just leave. They just, they just dipped. Literally, they're just gone. Like, that's crazy, and I'm pretty sure that's exactly why Call of Duty World War II has been pretty slow, just because, well, there's probably been a couple problems back there, you know, they're thinking, alright, you know, we gotta leave, all these type of things, so they probably weren't focused around World War II, but hopefully this will actually help Sledgehammer Games out, and I'm super excited to see what actually happens in the coming future, and as I said, I really hope that this Sledgehammer, this brand new Sledgehammer Games, like, leader, helps sledgehammer games out a lot and actually helps a lot of us youtubers out as well because we love transparency literally everybody in the call of duty community loves transparency and that's just something we did not get with michael condry and glenn schofield it was just transparency literally that's one thing that sledgehammer games was missing so if we can get some transparency which we already started to which is with the community events or like the community i don't even know it's like little like forms or something like that which i've made a few videos on talking about what they're working on so hopefully we'll get some more transparency with the community with the actual company and we'll see a greater growth in call of duty but if you guys did like this video make sure to like subscribe and comment you guys do want to see next i will post more videos in the future let me know if you guys are actually if this is actually a good or a bad idea for sledgehammer games hopefully as i said that they will improve and we'll be back to actually playing a great Call of Duty. But yeah, I'm super excited about this. Literally, if you guys cannot tell. But yeah, guys, I'm out. Peace.